In this video I will basically teach you exactly how you can fix your life like I've managed to do. So this is me two and a half years ago working hard. This is why you should listen to me. And this is my story. So basically for five years ago I hit rock bottom. I was depressed. Okay. I was semi suicidal. Right. I didn't want to stay like that. And I live this existence for one two years during the corona lockdown i was so damn miserable i genuinely hated my life and i was addicted to tons of vices like video games video games anime i was a fucking weeaboo i remember bragging to my friends and people around me about we watching 200 animes uh, series right and this is me today completely different person and i've managed to achieve this transformation in only three years so this is me taking my before photo three years ago when i decided to change once and for all so i'm going to teach you exactly how i've managed to completely do 180 with my life but it will take time this video is going to be long so i wanted to just grab a coffee or something like that sit down relax you can take a piece of paper or grab a notepad because you will need to take notes because you are going to basically get a bunch of knowledge let's begin so before everything else what is the first principle of human behavior so what is the first principle in general these are facts that basically guides our thinking let's say for example what is the first principle of math okay one plus one equals two okay so you understand right first principles are the basic things the core truth that guide everything else that everything else sits on and basically the basic uh, principle of human behavior is that humans always run away from pain the pain of being hungry right we want to eat food so that's why we eat the pain of being fat that's why we don't eat, we restrict our calories. The pain of being out of shape. That's why we go to the gym and we lift weights, right? We run away from pain, right? But not all pain was created the same, especially for humans. This is the Maslow hierarchy of needs. And basically, this is the most painful kind of thing. So when you lack the ability to breathe, bro, the only thing that you will think about is breathing. You will feel tons of pain, right, if you can't breathe. If you can't eat food, you will feel a bunch of pain. If you can't have water and sex and sleep, your existence will be painful. You will lack the most basic kind of needs. And then as you go up in the pyramid, it becomes less painful, right? So if you lack security, it's not as painful as lacking food and water, right? If you lack resources, you can't wear clothes, right? You have a bro. You are genuinely broke, not like not have money kind of broke. You are below, you are in rock bottom, right? You don't have place to live in. You are in a lot of pain still, right? And then there is friendship, family and sexual intimacy. And then self-esteem, confidence, achievement, respect and all of that. And then like self-actualization. The higher you go, the less painful it becomes. The lower you go, the more painful it becomes. Why you are stuck in a rut? Why you are living this bad existence? Why I was living it? Because I was lacking these kind of things and these kind of things and even these kind of things and I was faking them using bad habits. So these were my painkillers. Watching TV series, playing video games, watching corn. I faked intimacy. I faked progress. My all my whole fan groups were video gamers and I faked friendship with it not even fake it right and i was watching anime and shit and i faked progress even progress bro when you watch anime and tv series says you make progress towards watching him so ep1 episode 1 episode 2 you feel progress by going up throughout the episodes you fake progress you see the characters develop and you fake character development because this is not your own character development. This is those characters that you watch. When you play video games, you develop skills and shit. In video games, not in real life, right? You fake it all. When you watch corn, you fake intimacy because you feel like you are getting laid, but you don't really get laid, you just beat your meat. So these are big painkillers basically that keep you stuck. And by doing it and by doing them, you are keeping yourself stuck because you feel comfortable. 
You feel as though you don't like these basic necessities of yours. Why you got addicted in the first place? So your life basically was shit, right? You were in a pretty low place. You might have had a lot of stress, so you might have just been through a hard time or something like that. Or you know, your life was pretty fine, right? But the addicted were less shit than your life. So your life was here, let's say like this. And then the addiction was here in terms of pleasure, instant one. And that's why you gravitated towards this from your life to addiction, right? Or not addiction, you might be not addicted, you might do it on a pretty regular basis, but not full on like addiction, right? You might not call it addiction, but you do it and you know that it is worsening your life and it doesn't contribute to your development and it keeps you in a rut. So you gravitated from not even a huge amount of pain, very small one, like mediocre life to addiction. Addiction feels less mediocre than a mediocre life, so why not do it? First principle of behavior, away from pain, towards more pleasure, right? You were basically using a lot of painkillers, things that are funny in the moment in comparison to your real life. So let's say when you are sick, your baseline goes down, right? You are sick, you have headache, you want to puke, you don't feel very good you feel weak and when you take painkillers let's say normal painkiller right so this was your baseline before sickness let's say like this right this is your baseline after sickness and this is after taking painkiller you got closer to your old baseline basically right so why wouldn't you take it your behavior the basic principle behind it is away from pain so you are getting away from this pain with painkillers and in your case you are not just feeling one day of pain you are feeling like years months right and for you to kill them basically you need to use bad habits right that will get you up here in terms of dopamine pleasure everything but what you don't realize is that they also get you here and then right here and then right here and like this and you not go like this up you go down i will tell you what is the core problem behind all of it in a minute but before that you cannot change if you are satisfied your current situation you might not be sick of it you might be all right with playing video games one hour a day you might be fine with watching anime and not going to the gym consistently you might be fine with this kind of behavior and that's why you change no that's why you don't change because you are not sick of your current place so this is how it look like your current place might be like here this is pain basically this is how much pain you can endure this thing and then you are here right now your perceived pain is here right so you need to get this perceived pain and get it here below where you can actually endure so if you will be here in an unendurable place and you will be sick of this place you will have to change and when you change you don't just get here right because when you start to change you start this positive feedback loop of a change and it doesn't just look like this i will tell you exactly how to change in a minute but first you have to be sick of it this is the thing that will trigger it all for you it doesn't look like this it starts like this and then it compounds basically because you will do one very important thing that will get it to compound and you will go like this above this pain threshold basically so you must become sick of it so the core problem is your mental health because if you are not very happy in your day-to-day -day life right happy no you won't really feel a lot of fulfillment and enjoyment from doing small things in life hard things you will not enjoy your training session right you will not enjoy talking to friends as much right you will have to get stimulated and you will have constant pain in your mind it can be anxiety depression you will have this constant nagging pain you will have constant headache because of your bad mental health and the reason why you have been indulging in this bad habit is because they were painkillers right they were painkillers for your old existence for your current existence they are your current painkillers so if you are sick of it and you want to change so you are past stage one of basically not wanting to change and you got to this is basically the second stage so this is the pyramid stage one stage two and this is the actual change your mental health is the foundation that every kind of behavior that you do stands on why if you have bad mental health you need to cope with it somehow 
And if you don't cope with it by improving your mental health, your brain will be a lot more susceptible to cheap pleasure that distract you from this pain of having bad mental health. And you will be a lot more susceptible to cheap pleasure. And that will cause you to indulge in addictions. And as you indulge more in addictions, you become more susceptible to do them right, to doing them. So you do them more. And then as you do them more, your mental health goes to shit. Because when you do bad behavior, you get a huge amount of dopamine. And as you after that you get below baseline like this this is how the cycle of addictions look like basically and dopamine is motivation and depression is not the lack of happiness and enjoyment it's not this it's the lack of motivation basically and when you have no motivation to pursue things you're depressed and the more depressed you are the worse your mental health is the more anxiety about the future you will have because you will lose optimism your mind manifests your actions and when your mind is polluted with bad mental health basically, your actions represent that. So we want to start, this is the second stage of the pyramid, right? Here. You need to start by improve your mind and you do it by doing those three practices. The first practice is to basically embrace the positive mind. It's basically hope, self-belief. So what derives hope basically? Hope? What is hope? Hope is the belief that the future can be better than today and yesterday, right? This is hope, right? What makes you hopeful? Self-belief. When you believe that you can achieve this outcome, you can lose weight and get six, but bro, I didn't think that I can do it when I was fat back in the day. I developed self-belief and by doing so, I started to walk towards this worthwhile goal. My actions were manifested by my mind because I had self-belief. I believed that I can achieve this action and this goal that derived by this action and I embraced this action. And not only that, positivity. This is being grateful for the things, the good things that you do. This is basically positively gratifying them in your mind. Positively gratify the good things in, that you do and make them part of your character. And that's how you develop confidence, right? You always wanted to hear the quick and easy fix to develop confidence. What the fuck happens to my fucking, you know. The way to develop confidence is to do good habits and then look back at them and feel proud of yourself that you were doing these habits. And by doing so, you will look towards the future with hope. You will have less anxiety or you, you will even cure it completely. And that's fucking great. And then meditation. Okay, so what is meditation? Meditation, meditation is the practice of mindfulness or so being mindful in the moment. When you are mindful in the moment, when you are in a flow state basically of walking towards a goal or not even walking towards a goal, just looking at your fucking wall and being mindful of it, you feel happier. I don't know, that's what the study said, right? I, I'm not a monk, right? The literature says that if you will meditate every day for the next 10, 20, 30 days, after that you will feel 10% happier, more fulfilled, you will have less anxiety, basically all of the good things that you want in your mind. You will also be more positive and shit. For 10 minutes, right? You, if you will meditate for 10 minutes, you will get all of these positive effects. How to meditate? There is this app called Medito. I showed it in the beginning of the video when I showed you all of my achievements. You can check it out and do daily meditations every day. Just sit down, focus on one thing that is in the moment, that is that you can focus on. And basically meditate about it. You will get distracted a ton, a lot of times. And as you will go back towards this thing, you will develop your mindfulness skill. Another very important thing that the literature doesn't say is that you will gain another kind of consciousness in your mind when you will be about to do something that you know that is bad for you. Like eating a piece of junk food, playing video games or doing those things. You will have another like kind of observer mind. That will look at your actions, that your lizard brain, your first brain will do, will want to do. You will look at it with your big mind, in a second person perspective. And you will be a lot more likely to resist it. Because, so you basically train your ability to look at your mind. You will see, right? When you will meditate, you will realize this. Because you will get distracted by your small mind. And then when you will go back to focusing in the present moment, you will see the mind that distracted you in a second person perspective. And you will see it. Also, when you will be about to do these bad habits, that's one of the best things about meditation. And then the third practice to journal or go to therapy. Because you need to find the core problem that has given you this bad mental health. It can be childhood trauma, you were bullied as a child, or it can be as small as 
you are short you, you didn't have a lot of friends when you were a child because of that and you started to develop insecurity and you started to become an insult because of your keeping insecurity and you didn't talk to people right so you need to fix this insecurity or core problem and you find it by asking yourself questions and comprehensively answering them right so journal and therapy i'm not a therapist i'm not an expert in, in this field search online bro now we have addressed the first part of the pyramid right the motivation right motivation and then we address the second part the mental health right now i'm going to teach you exactly how the set of actions that you will have to take to quit those addictions and replace them with other meaningful activities that will cause you to progress in your life come jack to make money all of the good stuff right so the first principle behind it i said to you to quit those addictions and do good habits instead right replace so for you to quit any bad habit i don't care what a bad habit it is you will have to find something else to replace it so let's say video games right you need to take this this is a controller basically and convert it into a dumbbell the gym right you need to replace it with other more good stuff right the basic premise behind any kind of human behavior is that you start small you don't start big when you start big that's basically how progress look you go for this two hours of working out right this is what's your baseline before you just go to it jump start with it and then you go down because you are incapable of building this identity so fucking fast right identity is the basic principle behind the behavior if you have a certain identity you act upon it basic as shit right your identity is derived from your action and your action is derived from your basic human psychology you go you act up out of character and then you go back to your character up down up down up down up down you act as motivation here or discipline or whatever but then you go back because you can't really make progress this way not sustainable one so you need to create habits habits are basically actions that you do on a long enough time frame that they become automatic to you so you go to the gym first time second time right until it becomes automatic to the act of going to the gym and then it becomes a habit and then this habit becomes part of your identity slow and gradual better than fast right which i showed you this graph right this is how you try to make progress when you are not focusing on habits and identity right and changing it when you focus on habits you start like this in this terms of progression you start small slow and gradual and then when you start to get bigger basically 10 percent every week you will make this kind of progress because you build this insane foundation this identity of you being the guy who does this action who works hard every day who goes to the gym and then when you go to the gym for more time or train harder in it and make pro actual progress to your body it looks like this because you have this strong consistent foundation and consistency is the key to make progress in anything if you will do it for a long enough time frame you will achieve this graph as long as you improve and you learn three tactics to implement good habits into your life the first one is to start small you want to start by creating the identity of an athlete basically so let's start with the example of the gym you go to the gym once right you are not an athlete yet you you, see, you basically hate it right if you will during these times when you will go to the gym when you will have this graph do two hours of walking out every fucking time so some people will succeed and will cause this change to stick with sheer willpower and everything but some people will fail most people will fail why you cannot sustainably go to the gym every time that you need like three times per week for two hours when you are just a beginner right so start small go for 10 minutes but do it consistently and build the identity of a guy who goes to the gym consistently and when you have this identity bro it's so much harder to act out of character and you will act in coordination with your character and as you will go bigger like slowly right you will make progress in a progressively overloaded way you will get this kind of trajectory because you will stay consistent and then the second thing even if you will develop the identity of the guy who goes to the gym consistently you will have those days when you will be demotivated or something may arise in your life you will have to develop discipline to go and willpower to resist the urges to not go i have a full guide about discipline and about willpower it is in my channel i will direct you to it in the end so in the end and then the third thing to improve your mental health we addressed how to do it you are going to slowly remove the bad one while slowly implementing the good one instead of you are going to do it in a very slow manner the amount of effort time and all of that sacrifice that you will have to put more to increase is the amount of effort sacrifice time so you have a certain amount that you have in your mind that you think that you can increase it by right so let's say this is level one you walking out for one hour every day just drawing numbers right 
because it's easier like that like one hour right and that next week you think that you can do 110 okay that's what you think that is your current capability take the 110 okay and take the 10 basically not the one and reduce it by 20 percent right and then make it 1.8 this is just for the sake of representation but if you will reduce the thing that you think that you can do by a small margin 10 20 percent you will make it easier than what you think that you can do that you can increase it by and you will think that you are better than that this is the thing that's going to create your identity and also make the act of implementing this good habit easy as fuck so today you won't really do the action that you wanted to take in the first place like going to the gym for one hour you will go for 10 minutes and then the next week you will increase it to 18 minutes and then 25 minutes, 30, 40, 50, 60, until you will get to your desired action that you wanted to do it first, right? And you will replace one hour of video games with one hour of working out. And if you will do it in a way that you think that you are better than, it will become easy to you the act of replacing it for sure, right? This just makes sense. So this is what I want you to do. Example, one hour of working out, right into 10 minutes, and then you increase it by the amount. So let's say that you think that you can do 20 minutes the next week, you reduce it by 20% and you do 18. And then the next week, 27, and then 36, 45, and then one hour, right? You increase it gradually. You, go, you went like this, basically you started like this, you build the identity for the first month, two, three, and then you started to increase it like this, small, 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 small. And then you got to your desired place, right? But in this place, in like 60 minutes of working out every other day, you can make a bunch of progress to your physique, right? You can improve it significantly. And that's where the compound graph comes from. So that is one way to actually make fast progress and it is to go on a protocol. The whole premise of this protocol is that you're going to put like tons of effort for two weeks, right? Two weeks of extremely hard work. You will have to use a bunch of discipline and willpower and if you will do it for more than two weeks, you will get burned out. That's why it's only two weeks. I went on a protocol after I watched anime relapse after two weeks of not watching anime. I decided to go on this protocol protocol for two weeks it was pretty extreme one hour of working out one hour of reading 30 minutes of meditating cold shower every day waking up at 5 30 no matter what i went on this protocol and i finished it successfully and then afterwards i went on the lifestyle so in the lifestyle i did basically everything but easier right not 30 minutes of meditating 10 20 minutes not one hour of reading 30 minutes of reading not one hour of working out every day 30 minutes i went for a walk or a gym workout and by doing it in this way the lifestyle started to seem so easy in comparison to the protocol and it made the lifestyle so fucking sustainable because when you do hard things like this you went here from ground zero then you do it for two weeks you sustain it to sustain it with discipline willpower and then if you go here afterwards you have this cognitive bias in your mind that make this part like this baseline this lifestyle seems a lot easier than this and if you went from this point to this point really fast like this is the protocol it this will seem way harder than if you will go on a protocol and then go here right this is just human nature so that's why you do a protocol these are the basic principles for a protocol it must be hard you must suffer use willpower discipline and all of that you must be able to do it for two weeks and you must focus on these three things mental strength things that require for you for you discipline and willpower for me it was reading i also added two hours of work every day i had a youtube channel and i worked on it for two hours every day and this was also an activity that required for me discipline and willpower and also i took a cold shower every day and woke up early discipline these things these activities developed a lot of mental strain for me and then body working out basically this, this will also develop discipline and willpower for you but will also make your body way more attractive make you happier healthier human being and then mental health i had a gratitude journal and the habit of meditation these are the two things that i was doing outside of the protocol and the habits and all of that i wanted to develop one very important habit the habit of learning when you have the habit of constant learning when you are learning every day how to perform better at your craft in the gym in your day-to-day -day life how to become healthier you get this trajectory because if you will go to the gym every day and you will train for two hours for the next year but you won't go to complete failures where you can perform another rep you will not even get close to this point you will not make progress at all you will just flatline but if you will learn through the habit of learning that going to failure is important you will get closer and closer to failure and you will make a lot of progress that's why one example to why the habit of learning is so important can be like that with work 
when you learn how to work better, how to be more productive, you get more output for every unit of time, and you'll get more work done like in this rate, right? So that's why the habit of learning is very important. What will make sure that you will constantly grow as you will improve your life and you will fix it. So example, this is a video that I uploaded a few months ago, and I didn't know, I was confused to the reason why I don't get views. I asked myself this question, by the way, this video was shitty as fuck and I put it on private mode, it was shit. Now I look back at it and I'm not shocked that it didn't perform well. And then this is the video that I uploaded a few days ago, full masterclass about discipline. It got a pretty good amount of views. I improved 1% better every day in my videos, right? And my videos suck, still suck, right? But they don't suck as much. This is me looking back at my old video, by the way. So yeah, that's why learning to do do things better is so important because that's how you actually make progress you need to have the student mindset that doesn't use ego because you have a huge ego right now right that blind you from seeing your insufficiencies and when you don't see them when you don't grow you stay in the point that Tan was in before right you stay at this point when you get 17 views per video that's why you want to kill your ego and continue and learn every day Thanks for watching bro, you can like and subscribe for more content like this one, more content like this one will show on your feed if you will like and subscribe right now, bye bro.